6 a.m. Let's go. Hey. Twenty twenty four, brother. <laughs> it's upon us. We beat Helios this morning. We beat him. But he'll be up. Time to rock and roll. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. I see this as um, one of the unique opportunities in the history of our program since I've been here where we've literally flipped the entire roster. Um, I mean, we do have some experience coming back, but I'm talking four or five guys who played consistently last year coming back, but it's never been this much quantity. So in terms of opportunity, uh, this is a great time to be a Padre. Um, you know, to get an opportunity to get on the field and play and prove that they can reset the standard and kind of pick up where Danny and Jabari and all those guys left off. And that's extremely high bar. I mean, arguably one of the best teams in CCS history. Uh, those guys made an inc incredible three-year run with, you know, as even freshmen, you know, going back to 2020. And, uh, those names were sy synonymous with that run. Um, but, you know, it's all the same, only the names will change. Uh, is uh, we have a certain system around here that we believe in that uh, uh, we don't need to change uh, the ingredients as to what we do. Our core values are love, brotherhood, and humility. These guys need to plug into that. Um, you know, pick up on the 23 years of foundation that's been left here for them. Um, and realistically figure out how fast we can become a tough organization. Uh, so I'm not convinced that we're tough and I'm not convinced that we're organized. And uh, what those kids were last year, were, they were very, very tough and we were very, very organized. And it was hard to, it was hard to, to beat us last year. Track. This is a rebuild year, but my team, we're just going to come together. We're just going to ball out. I'm not worried about all the negativity. We're just aiming to go back to where we were the past three years. It's kind of different because I do miss the 2024 class for sure, and it's big shoes to fill for the most part, but I feel like it's great to kind of finally be the leader. It went by fast too, for sure. <laughs> Last year we had a great defense, shutting out a lot of teams. Hopefully we can keep it up, just wreck shop, you know, just hit. It's gonna be easier and it's live. Wiley's gotten like nine reps to your guys' one. Go! Someone's hungry. Junior year, I was kind of on and off. I'd kind of fill in for when our star receiver, Keon Loud, you know, when he needed to get a break, play some defense, you know, I filled in that role and it was great. I learned the playbook back, back and forth and, you know, it was a cool experience and I'm just ready to take what I learned from last year and use it this year because now I got a more of like the major role player on the team, so. so go. <laughs> We still got a, a lot to prove, uh, especially the D-line. Some, some of us are, a lot of us are young. Kai is, is yeah. next to me now in, in the secondary, which is fun. I've known him for a long time, so I'm excited to play with him. I love everybody. Everybody's great. Charlie, Willie, Stud, just throw it up, let him go get it. Uh, you, got, you got the tight ends, Clay, Trimble, Jace, they'll go get you on. You got the slots. You got Wall, Charlie Walsh, you got Luke Dowd, you got Brody, Slime, you got Tolu. We got Nano and Zay in the backfield. We got everybody, like, we got Chris Yoon too. I forgot about him. I'm not worried at all, man. I've been playing with Henny since freshman year. He's always been a dog, you know. He has kind of this energy, like, he's never the guy. You look down, he's like sad. He's always happy, he's always like energized, you know. That's someone we can really ride or wave. So I'm excited he's stepping into a new role and I'm excited to see what he does. Like everybody, everybody can, is a playmaker. Everybody can get loose, so it's just my job to get the ball in their hands. Our offense will be straight this year for the most part. I feel like we have a better wide receiver core than last year overall, with some more people, and then I feel like we have better linemen, like more linemen pieces for sure. It's a hard, hard thing to play quarterback, you know. So I'm just ready to see what he can do and how we're going to connect this season. I'm, I'm, I'm actually excited. I'm comfortable with uncertainty. There's a ton of uncertainty. 
out there with, you know, who's who's going to be next up? Who's the next man up? And are the Padres going to be the Padres? Or are we going to dip? Are we going to, like the, un, the uncertainty is welcomed here. And I think we learn a lot about ourselves when we're in uncertain times or even in dark times, tough times. We're not afraid of that. And that's pretty much why I scheduled a baptism by fire here in the preseason. I want those uncertainties to be revealed ASAP uh, so we can be prepared for the WCAL. So with the people. <laughs> hey, let's go, let's go, listen up, listen up. Claws, what are you <laughs> Bad start. Well, we have a, um, uh, a extremely democratic voting system around here for captains. And some years we've had one captain, some year when the votes come out, there's so many different and none of them really stood out. So we had no captains, just like a, like a team captain concept. Last year there were so many kids that we had a captain's council. We had 12 players last year that were, uh, you know, formative of the captain's council. Um, and this year we took a vote and, um, and we had 100% uh, response on that. So everyone voted and it was clear that there were four main guys that stood out and it, it was pretty interesting. Two were on, on O, two on defense. So uh, on offense, we have uh, Louis uh, Akpa and Jonah Alapati. So two linemen, which I thought was interesting, which is, uh, sometimes a good sign for a team when when the linemen are seen as as leaders um, and so I'm really confident in those guys that uh, both those guys got significant playing time last year particularly Jonah played in every single game Louie got a lot of playing time and is one of our division one prospects he's a great kid he's worked hard very very proud of him and then on defense Teddy Chung naturally um, and he he was our top vote getter from the team like everyone voted for for Teddy he was uh, you know, he's been here the longest, he's proven the most, he's started the most games, uh, he loves Sarah football, it's like if you, you cut him open, blue and gold would come out of his veins, so he, he's a perfect choice for that. And then Tommy Miller, uh, who's a defensive, a defensive end, he's going to move in inside and outside on our D-line, one of the hardest workers on the team, and those four guys uh, kind of stood out from the vote. Work on me, one, two, three, work. As a leader, I want to be lead with my voice, but also by example, so it's pushed me to kind of cut out any things that might not be the best for the team or the most ideal and, and really help me set, like aim to set a better example, especially for our younger kids. Like we have four captains this year from 12 last year. Yeah. Um, and so I, I hope that that kind of more centralized leadership will, will help establish more of a structure for the team and keep us more disciplined and locked in. Good CJ, good CJ. Okay, we need to be a little bit more organized tomorrow together collectively as a team. Too much chaos to start the day. I don't like that. We need to be a tough organization. And today, organization was not great. So as we improve and we get closer to Folsom, we want to be able to know that we have uh, an organized system, an organized group, so you're not worried about little things. You're worried about playing and competing at your highest level. Practice makes perfect go. Come on, Beach. Work back. There it is. Same old man, young group, plenty of learning to do. There's some certain kind of monikers that we repeat over and over and over again here. A certain standard that we expect our players to live up to. Um, and we're going to hold them accountable. I already mentioned that a little bit uh, earlier, but are we tough? Uh, you know, I don't really care if we're good um, at football, but I care if we're tough at football. Good will come. We'll get there. We have an exceptional coaching staff that will get us there. But we don't need to be good right away. We need to be tough right away. And that's like one of the things that I don't tolerate a, a lack of toughness. And being tough, it comes with a lot of uh, technique and it comes with belief and there's, you can't just be tough, like particularly in a game when you're playing against other tough people. So that's number one. Number two is being organized. Do our kids know the plays? Do we have organized practices? Can we get in and out of huddles? Do we have 11 players on the field? Those are the two kind of top standards when it comes to playing. And then we have our core values that we've lived with forever here, and that's love, brotherhood, and humility. What we were really good at in the past when we were not huddling was echoing formation calls. That is not gonna change. If our guys are taking care of one another, uh, if our guys are showing love for one another, if we're being humble about our strengths, humble about our weaknesses, everything, then we are creating the young men for the next generation of our society, which is so important to me. The scoreboard will take care of itself. We don't have any We don't have any win goals or title goals. We never have really here. We keep scoring. If you talk to Danny and Jabari and those guys last year, they, they want to be state champions. and. 
and that's fine, and I'm okay with that, but it's not what we preach here. The banners will come. It, with that philosophy, oddly enough, in the 24 years I've been here, we've hung 25 banners in the gym, and I think in our time, we just got sponsored by Nike, which is really cool. We're part of the Nike Elite program. We're switching to Nike next year. You know, we got the switch to Nike. They want to do it, you know, when we graduate, but it's a little send-off gift for us. Got the full suit and everything. You know, one of, I think, five programs in the state of California, only 30 in the whole country, so we're super, super proud and honored to be a part of that. We got a Nike shirt. I'm going Nike next year. I'm excited. All the juniors and sophomores got their numbers for next year, so pretty simple. Making the switch over. Nice and comfortable. I was, I was here to get it all, but. New jerseys and everything, too. So. Nike's gonna get us right for the next couple years, so. Take what I can get, I got a full tracksuit. Pause on me, pause on me, what to do? Fires. Outcomes come when you're focused on the process and the love of one another. And I'm very, very hopeful that this team really needs to buy into that because we have the biggest roster we've ever had. We have about 99 kids on our roster, and we're gonna need all 99 of them to have any success at all this year. Hey, defense won today, O-line, way to work. Skills, we gotta get it right. We'll, we'll get it right tomorrow. All right, we gotta be more organized getting in and out of that huddle. But overall, I think we had a good first day. Let's get after the weight room, here we go. Family on three, one, two, three. Family.